Touch gloves and good luck. After tearing his ACL, in, he's very dangerous because he hits really hard. I trick him for like bloods will do a weigh in and then three hours later he'd be in the ring when he finished the three round fight right of the evening. What does Gonzalez need to do to keep Duno off of him? He needs to catch him on the way in because Duno's lunging in. He needs to wait for him to lunge and throw those, those shots from bottom up. But when he leans in like that, Gonzalez neutralizes his own advantage. And that's where Duno can come in and do his work. Oh, big right hand there from Romero Duno. And Gilberto Gonzalez is on weak legs. But what a quick recovery from the Mexican fighter who lands a nice left hook. But he got clipped, Joel. Gonzalez told us. I'm going to keep him on the outside, but he doesn't do it there. And he gets dropped with a one-two combination, but it's a trip. That's what he was moving back, and I think he's, he's sort of crossed his feet. And what always happens with the southpaw and the orthodox fighter, whoever gets the advantage of happening in that exchange. Nice combination to the body now from Romero Duro. Maybe he gets a little bit confident here that he has the power to drop Gonzalez. Yeah, he does have the power to drop Gonzalez, but also Gonzalez has the power to drop Duno. An official. There we see Romero Duno just attack Gonzalez. He's expecting for Duno to throw and stay in the same. He's throwing and moving, especially he's moving to Gonzalez's right a little more. We show blood on his nose. Trying to close the dip. Like other places where they have short rounds here. He caught Romero Duno with a good shot, but it just seems to wake up Duno. I mean, these, these two guys are made for each other. They're tailored for each other because styles make fights and they're made for each other, as you can see. Now they're exchanging. Benny Nieto is a flyweight champion. That's a good thing that the corner did. Now he's moving. He felt that sees it. Nothing to reach. If he can use that longer reach when when Duno's on the outside, it's really good for him. But once he Duno takes the best out of him. Nice. For Romero Duno here in the well, the desert air doesn't help come the next great Filipino hero. One thing about Gonzalez that he gets stronger in the later round. Nice left hook there from Gonzalez, but then he gets countered, blow his nose, right? Before he came out for the sixth round, usually when you've got swelling, that's a bad thing, Joel. Exactly. He, it's a bad habit for him. He's always done it. And even though he don't have blood, he thinks he has blood because he's already in his mind. He, and, but it's, it's a bad thing. All right, well, what's not a bad thing is when you get two fighters exchanging toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and here's Ivetta Gonzalo Duno. The corner is happy with here at Fantasy Spring Resort Casino. This is becoming the toe-to-toe -to -toe war fighter and hitting the body they're both going for the body quest more resistance and whose conditioning is better is going to be shown right now great boom boom that scene was the vip guest for golden boy boxing this evening here look at this age gonzalez has his head on the head of duno and here comes the counter punch of romero duno lunging and we talked about him using his leverage against Romero Duno and he's hurt. He clipped Romero Duno and Duno's against the ropes, but Duno has no quit in him. He's coming back with shots of his own. But here comes Gonzalez teeing off on Romero Duno, who's walking backwards, and here's Duno landing on the chin of Gonzalez. What a fight. We see Duno land a good body shot on Gonzalez and slowed him down right there, caught him on the way in. That body shot really did some damage on Gonzalez. That's why he's He's trying, to get his, he's trying to get his win back. He slowed him down completely. He dropped his hands completely, and here comes Duno, working to the body of Gonzalez. My, how the tides have turned here in the sixth round. He sees a little bit in, in Gonzalez, but they're both looking for the head. Look at the power of Duno, and a big overhand right to the chin. There it is, nice one-two combination. He's holding the back, conservative a little They expect the same, and Duno's corner, a world title challenge in the eighth round. They told Duno, go to the body, they one minute rest. And Sometimes it's easier. Comes on late in fights, and that's what he's trying to do. That's why you see the elbows of Gilberto Gonzalez down protecting the body. That leaves the head open, and that's what... Gilberto ah. Flaco Gonzalez taking on Romero Duno. The Filipino is a corner. There's a big contingent of Filipino fans with a flag urging him on. Duno is acknowledging it. To a tough opponent like Gilberto Gonzalez, it's different. You have to change. You have to change it up a little bit. Nice left there by Gonzalez as he fins. Finish. Well, there it is. That nice short left hand to throw. They want him to leave it all out on the line here. They feel he still has a chance to here on Golden Boy Boxing. And they're still they're still going strong. He curved with right. that uppercut. That uppercut lands on Gilberto Gonzalez. 
big left hand. Bell, guys. By unanimous decision.